Guys, happy Monday. We've been working on front squats for our strength for a few weeks here. The weight's gonna be getting a little bit heavier, reps are going down. So for the first part of this number, it's gonna be some basic uh, squats, down and up, some heavy weight. And we're gonna go to the lighter weight pause front squats for the second part, right? So uh, remember for the heavier sets, really focus on good bracing. So you come out of the rack, getting, taking your time to get a good position, okay? And you set for those heavier weights. Big breath at the top. And fight for good position all the way down and up, okay? When you go to the pause, same thing. It might be a little harder to hold your breath the whole time, but stay tight in the bottom, big breath. And then really focus on exploding up. We've been doing these for a few weeks, so again, you guys should be getting stronger. Focus on not just the weight on the bar, but exploding up, good position, all right? So that'll be part one. All right, the second part, our, uh, our conditioning, is got some classic CrossFit. There's a workout called Cindy in CrossFit, which is five pull-ups, five or 10 push-ups, 15 air squats, okay? So we're gonna be doing that sequence along with some overhead barbell work, okay? So the Cindy part, five pull-ups, 10 push-ups, 15 squats, should be, you wanna scale this to a variation that you can really move through quickly, all right? So if uh, you don't have kipping pull-ups, try to substitute something that is quick. So a great option would be using a band, right? I can put my foot in a band, okay? I should be getting five reps, unbroken almost every single round, maybe until the very end. You can do ring rows, right? Again, find an angle, doing five, Ring rows. Another great option is also uh, jumping pull-ups, okay? Where you get a little knee bend, arms are straight, jump. Okay, so again, some version you can move through. Same for the push-ups. The push-ups actually end up being the bigger challenge for most people. We hit failure. So to make this easier, you can elevate your hands on a box or a bench, okay? This makes things a little bit easier. But no matter what you do, we wanna see a nice straight line from the shoulder to the ankle. What we don't want to see is that you're rolling down and up or keeping the butt high or missing range of motion. You're going to hit failure on these. So break it up. Don't go to failure too early and focus on good quality range of motion, good lockout every single time. All right. Uh, the last one, air squats. These are really straightforward. Just make sure you get full range of motion. When there's no weight, people get tired. They start doing short reps, right? Now standing up all the way. Just make sure you're all the way down. Hip below knee at the bottom, stand up all the way to the top. So knees and hips are fully open and flat every single rep, okay? So you're gonna be doing that sequence quickly, and then we're gonna partner that with a heavy barbell shoulder to overhead. So you're gonna pick it up off the ground. If it's a little bit lighter, you're gonna do a push press, which means you dip into the legs and drive into lockout. If you can connect those together, that's great. For most people, it's gonna be a little heavier. You're gonna to wanna to go to a more efficient push jerk. So it's drive with the legs, catch it, and stand. Okay, try to finish with this good locked out elbows, straight position. We don't wanna end up, if you look from the side, you don't wanna end up like this, right? With your back arched and the bar in front of you. You wanna end here, okay? Trying to bring it down, driving from the legs. All right? So that's gonna be our combo for conditioning, guys. We'll have a little finisher after this, working on some bicep curls. That's it for today. See you tomorrow.